important in order for you to decide whether to buy a pair of shoes or whether to vote for the person who is vying for the constitutional post. Uh, sorry, for the parliament. Because there is a lack of access to information, people are not able to see what is the good or the bad about that particular product or service or the individual or the offices. And so they cannot decide for themselves and have to rely on whatever is posted or fed on the available platforms, and which I think limits your ability to decide properly what you need or what you want. Nowadays, people are exposed to, exposed to so many um, social media sites, and they are being fed by so many news. So at that time, uh, it's important to every individual that they have to verify the, the sources and uh, they have to like verify whether the uh, news or information is coming from the authorized, uh, authorized and verified source. I was surprised that uh, I have been uh, writing a constituency news report without knowing the core five values of uh, media. Uh, till date, I have been reading, reading news, but then uh, I really didn't get to, to know uh, what are the, the <coughs> things to be done uh, while we write news and uh, what other things should be included <coughs> and excluded in the news. <coughs> so I feel that I'm a little bit advanced than before. Uh, so till now I have been always uh, reading <coughs> news uh, and uh, going through newspapers, but I never realized that uh, there is certain criteria to see how newspapers are written. After coming to this workshop, I was thinking that always I used to read the news, some research papers. I directly believe, I directly believe what they had written, and never think of the other side of the story. So coming to this workshop, <laughs> I, I, I am a bit critical about the reading the news even. And I came to realize that I should be bounded by those core values of uh, media literacy. I created a Facebook account for my son, who is uh, seven years old. Mm -hmm. So I created uh, it uh, before two years, when he's at the age of, age of five. So, so I thought to discuss with my wife to delete it, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, I don't get uh, time to monitor always on his Facebook. I, I realized that I wasted a lot of time in social media, and I'm very hopeful that I can reduce the time I spend on social media. That's why it is important for all the media and the government agencies to come together, thrash out the differences, come to the consensus, so that the, uh, so that the public just, uh, does not get, uh, does not consume the uh, misinformation or disinformation. Our policies also mention about certain information not being uh, open to disclosure because of whatever reasons. And that, I think, for the people implementing, they need to find the right balance on how much to restrict and how much to disclose. For our agencies, I think we are leaning more towards restrictive because of the nature of our work. But then uh, we are also uh, discussing that maybe there would be a possibility to in, uh, at least inform the public of certain things, if not of the entire details. So we need to find a way to at least have uh, the information across, but without compromising on whatever requires to be restricted. The, our objectives of uh, like uh, doing uh, guidelines for content creators or influencers are because like we take them as our role models or examples. Like, like we feel like they they because they have many followers or that it is authentic or something. So. Then if we make a guidelines for content creators, then we can be sure, like, uh, then we can give them some amount of trust. And uh, we believe that it is important to have this balance between the use of social media and also the personal life. Hema Zumbe Membe Meda Nga Chi Hema Beo Chin Guru Photo Di Su Tab Ti Vero Nga Chi Ka Aa Thop Nale Pa Mole Instagram Andi Su Nale Pa Post Page